What's up guys? Today I am super excited to show you. We are in the neighborhood of Lincolnville, just inside of downtown St. Augustine. Today we're going to check out the neighborhood of Lincolnville. We're going to check out a beautiful home that's on the waterfront here in the area. And we're also going to grab a bite to eat in downtown St. Augustine. Let's check it out. Today, we're gonna to take a look at downtown St. Augustine. We're in the historic neighborhood of Lincolnville, which was originally one of the first African-American settlements after the Civil War. In this neighborhood, you're gonna to see tons of old homes from Key West style cottages to Victorian style homes, just like the one we're gonna show you later, and also new construction. Now, the major roads you need to know about here are gonna be US 1, which is the main thoroughfare that's going north and south, King Street, which is going to be the east and west that goes right over the Lions Bridge, and A1A, which is also going to be your local route through St. Augustine. You're also going to be just minutes away from historical downtown St. Augustine, minutes from Flagler College and St. George Street. You're going to be 10 minutes from the beach, 10 minutes from Flagler Health Hospital, and about an hour from Jacksonville International Airport. If you are interested in Lincolnville, there are some major developments going on here. They have a new restaurant coming that's on the water. It's going to be called The Wharf. It's currently owned by O.C. Whites. That's going to be on the water. It's going to be looking at the Lions Bridge and also downtown St. Augustine. They do also have a major development that they're talking about doing where they're going to add a railway station between St. Augustine and Jacksonville at the intersection of US 1 and King Street that will also have a parking garage. It'll also have 350 residential units there that'll provide a ton of value to the local residents. We are here at 103 Marine Street, which is listed by Shannon Murray of Ponte Vedra Club Realty. This is a four bed, four bathroom home, 2,988 square feet with a two car garage, a studio above, also a little gas fire pit and a beautiful dipping pool right here. This home was built in 1904 and was passed through the family all the way up until 1981. They did a full renovation in 2014 and because we are in the historical section of St. Augustine, had to follow the mandates of the Historical Architectural Review Board. During the remodeling process, they paid a lot of attention to detail. When they remodeled, they leveled out the foundation piers, they added new floor joists in the entire bottom floor, and they also added a large steel beam here. On the outside, they put a 200 foot dock, and they also added a brand new bulkhead. During the remodel of the home, they kept some amazing original touches of the home, like the reclaimed heart pine wood flooring throughout, except for the closet and the bathrooms, and the original staircase from 1904. One of my favorite features is the downstairs master bathroom, which includes stunning double sink, a gorgeous enclosed shower, and an incredible custom closet with soft closed drawers. Not only did they keep the reclaimed hardwood flooring 
in the home. They also included the original glass from the glass windows in the custom cabinetry in the kitchen. Another amazing feature is this 10 by four Caesar Stone kitchen island, which is perfect for entertaining your guests. I'm in the upstairs master suite on the second floor. There are three bedrooms and a flex room. The rooms in the front face Marine Street with their own private veranda, which is perfect for drinking a cup of coffee. And here in the master suite, you have an edge to edge balcony right outside your bedroom door with views of the Matanzas River and your stunning backyard. Could you imagine yourself entertaining guests here in this stunning backyard? You have your outdoor kitchen, imagine some friends in the dipping pool, your astro turf, lawn stays green all year round, roasting marshmallows by the bonfire when you get off your boat. I mean, how unreal is this? Could you see yourself here? Let me know in the comments.
One of the best things about living in downtown St. Augustine is that you're minutes away from bars, restaurants, and all the history that St. Augustine has to offer. We just walked here from 103 Marine Street just to check out St. Augustine Fish Camp, grab a drink and grab a bite to eat. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we just got finished eating here at St. Augustine Fish Camp. We got some good drinks, some good food. If you are looking for more information like this, go ahead and tap that subscribe button below, like the video, and comment if you have any additional questions about what life is like living in downtown St. Augustine. If you need any further assistance, go ahead and reach out to me directly, whether that's a call, text, or email. And if you'd like, you can schedule a 30-minute video appointment with me on my Calendly link below. Until next time, guys, we'll catch you later.